Hey Capricorn, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you all so much for joining me. We're going to go ahead and pull some cards for you today. I've already started with your baseline cards, but we are going to pull more oracles as well as tarot cards to clarify. All right, I'm doing today past, present, and future of your connection. You have Capricorn placements. This could resonate. Take what's yours. Don't try to force anything. Flip the roads if you need to. It could be past, present, or future energy. Well, we're doing past, present, and future, but it could be interchangeable. All right, so we have the past energy as you are too flirtatious. An epic fail. Hmm. Some of you have regrets. You feel like this person was a waste of time in the past. Some of you ended things with them. It was a toxic relationship. Or someone had a toxic mindset that blocked healthy love in relationship, okay? Could be a Scorpio. Could be a Gemini you were connected to in the past, all right? Well, this will all be the same person. All right. And so the present energy, we have my heart, mind, body, and soul all belong to you. And we have you are my number one priority. I'm feeling Capricorn. I don't know. I feel like some of you, this is your energy for yourself. I don't feel like this has anything to do with this person because some of you ended this and you've learned to focus on self-love here or you're trying to. Okay. Future energy we have. I'm trying my best despite what it looks like. And then we have the other man or woman, possibly a cancer or a Libra you're connected to or they're connected to. So the future energy is like someone is maybe trying to circle back around, apologize to you, try to make amends, fix the relationship, repair the relationship, you know, and present it to you like they have changed, but there's still someone else in their energy. So let's get this going. Past energy, you're too, you're too flirtatious with epic fail. The King of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. The Ace of Swords in reverse. And the Strength in reverse. Oh, this person weak. They weak. Okay. They, they're weak. It could be a Leo, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. I'm getting a feeling of somebody who uses their resources to woo people. Like, they're not a very confident person, but they may have resources. Maybe a very materialistic, superficial person. Could be a person who gambles a lot as well. And, yeah, they may get into transactional relationships. Because that's what the, the King of Pentacles in reverse does. This is also someone who you just didn't have a lot of stability and security with them. Could be someone you have children with who may not be a very great father. Okay? And then the Ace of Swords here is this person doesn't have any clarity. They're confused. Okay, I feel like communication with this person is just all about arguing or it was in the past. Just a very argumentative person who just wanted things their way. I get the type that, that they poke their chest out with you, but when they get out there in the streets with other people, they're weak. They don't give them that same, they don't keep that same energy. Show me my heart, mind, body, and soul all belong to you. With you are my number one priority. I really feel like that's self-love, y'all. I do. Self-care and self-love. The hangman in reverse. Mm -hmm. King of Swords. And then the Ten of Swords. Yeah. Some of you, you tried to hold on to this relationship for so long. And you just had to come to the point where you accepted that it was time to let it go. The hangman in reverse is someone refusing to let go. The Ten of Swords is someone who may reluctantly let go, but they accept things as they are. It's a painful ending that you just accept. Closing out this cycle here. And I feel like a lot of you, like I said, you're so focused right now. Your standards are higher. You're setting better boundaries here. You're very um, truthful and honest in your communication and your demands of people. Very strict and um, disciplined in the way that you maintain relationships here. You have taken the power back. You're the authority over your life now. You're very serious about um, people having integrity who are going to be around you. That's good. I'm trying my best for you despite what it looks like with this other man or other woman in the future. Again, they're coming across as someone who wants to apologize. Here they come. Here they come, but they're a player. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Page of Swords in Reverse, they're a liar. Scatterbrain, confused, don't even know what they want. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and then the Six of Cups. So this person is still stuck on you. Scorpio energy there. Mm, the lovers, they see you as a soulmate, could be a Gemini. All right, so this person sees you as someone that they can't get over, but they have a, they have a, um, they have a problem with telling the truth, okay? They lack direction here. The wand is in control. Very much a player, very much a charmer. Somebody you just can't trust. They're infatuated with you. And I feel like they're about to try to um, fabricate a story about being different, but they're not. Show me um, 
you are too flirtatious flirtatious with epic fail oh yeah some of you just suddenly ended with this person it's like the tower storm unexpected could be a leo scorpio or christ or a taurus here so the connection failed that's the epic fail right there we have south node clinging yeah there we go this person likes attention and then we have um they can have a fire sign south node so a Leo, um, Aries or Sagittarius, self know. And then we have toxicity, bound, and patterns. This is Capricorn, I'm the devil. So this person, they again, they're addicted to attention here. Very codependent on how other people feel about them. Very lustful, very selfish. And the person who doesn't consider how you feel, they're all in their ego. Capricorn, that's your energy. I don't know if that's how they feel about you. I don't know. <laughs> But that's what's coming through. Could be another Capricorn. We have my heart, my body, and soul all belong to you. And you are my number, number one priority. Some of you have children and your focus has just been on your home and your children. It hasn't been on this relationship. Yeah, closed off, guarded, resistant. This is you. And then we have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I told you, some of you are connected to a fire sign. Or you can have heavy fire in your chart. Whatever the case, I feel like your focus right now, your passion, your motives, your intentions are all about you right now. Not about this other person. And some of you may be about to attract a fire sign. Because that's the ace of wands. So you may be getting um, into another commitment here. Or someone who's pursuing you. That you're not aware of. Okay. So we have um, what you don't see coming. We do have the page of swords in reverse. The page of swords is a, you know, a spy. <laughs> They're strategically planning. And this may be this new person coming in. Who hasn't quite figured out their plans yet. We do have a other man or woman. So there could be someone else. Coming in in the future. We have memories and nostalgia. Some of you, it's a Scorpio that just won't let you go. We got the Six of Cups right there. Self-worth and expectations. I told you, some of you, this is what your focus is on right now. And then we have healing and inner child. Exactly. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Bottom of the deck, alchemy and ancestors. Wow. So some of you, your, your guys, your, um, I told you somebody's watching you. Could be someone you work with. Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Capricorn. Um, your ancestors, your angels, your guides are watching over you here and helping you to manifest here with that alchemy energy. Could be a Gemini, like a family member that was a Gemini, or maybe you have Gemini placements. We end with two Gemini cards, all right? Gemini Virgo. All right, y'all. So those are your messages. We're gonna go ahead and leave it there. Um, yeah, this this person ain't done with you. They ain't done with you yet. They're stuck on you and they're coming back. To make some type of physical gesture towards you, something very sexual. So be on the lookout for that. Shut it down if you if you choose to. I can't tell you what to do, but all right, y'all. Peace. Like, comment, subscribe, peace.